And if you don't have the money, both you and your daughter are dead. Um, warning of close encounters with scammers who used artificial intelligence to clone her daughter's voice. Yeah, this is crazy. They actually made her believe they had kidnapped her 15-year-old, and then they demanded a ransom. So as on your side, Susan Campbell found out, this is crazy. It doesn't take much of a voice sample to pull this scam off. This is so frightening to hear. It really is. This truly terrified this mom, and this technology is actually improving so quickly. You really only need seconds of a voice sample to get pretty close to someone's real voice. The phone number was unfamiliar. Jennifer DeStefano almost let it go to voicemail. But her 15-year-old was out of town skiing. Maybe there had been an accident. I pick up the phone and I hear my daughter's voice and it says, Mom, and she's sobbing. And I said, what happened? And she's like, Mom. I, I, I messed up and she's sobbing and crying. And then I hear a man's voice say, put your head back, lie down. And then I'm like, wait, what, what's going on? And this man gets on the phone and he's like, listen here, I've got your daughter. This is how it's gonna go down. You call the police, you call anybody. I'm gonna pop her stomach so full of drugs, I'm gonna have my way with her and I'll drop her off in Mexico. And at that moment, I just start shaking. I'm like, what? In the background, she's going, help me, mom, please help me, help me, and falling. And you have absolutely no doubt in your mind that that was her voice. Oh, 100% her voice, 100% her voice. It was never a question of, you know, who is this? Or it was completely her voice. It was her inflection. It was the way she would have cried. I never doubted for one second it was her. That's the freaky part that really got me to my core. But the 15-year-old never said any of it. It was just a clone created by artificial intelligence. You can no longer trust your ears. Subaru Kamampati is a computer science professor at Arizona State who specializes in AI. He says voice cloning technology is rapidly improving. Now there are ways in which you can do this with just three seconds of your voice. So with the three seconds, it can come extremely close to how exactly you sound. And you don't even need any special equipment. I chose a free program for a test, and I'm not actually talking. It's a new toy, and you know, and and, and I think um, they could be great, good uses, but you know, certainly they can be pretty uh, worrisome uses too. You got to slow down and defuse the situation. The FBI's Dan Mayo says scammers who use voice cloning often find their prey on social media. They're going to be looking for public profiles that have as much information as possible on you. And when they get a hold of that, they're going to dig into you. The Federal Trade Commission says scammers will often ask their victims to wire money, send cryptocurrency, or pay the ransom with gift cards. Once the money is gone, it's almost impossible to get it back. The phone number's coming from an area code that you're not familiar with. That should be one red flag. Second red flag, international numbers. Sometimes they will call from those as well. Third red flag, they will not allow you to get off the phone and talk to your significant other, right? That's a problem. The person who had supposedly kidnapped Jennifer's daughter demanded money. He started at a million dollars. I was like, that I don't have a million dollars. I'm like, fine, whatever, just start my daughter. Then he wants $50,000. Jennifer kept him talking. She was at her other daughter's dance studio, surrounded by worried moms who wanted to help. One called 911, another called Jennifer's husband. Within just four minutes, they confirmed her daughter was safe. She was upstairs in her room going, what? What's going on? What's going through your mind that second? Then I get angry, obviously, with these guys because this is a very, this is not something you play around with. Wave of relief though, I'm sure. I literally just sat down and just broke, broke down crying. Tears for all of the what ifs. The fear, the relief, it all just seemed so real. The FBI believes a lot of these calls are never reported. Even if you don't lose money, the FBI wants to know about it. The more information they have, the better their chances of spotting trends and catching these scammers. And guys, you saw my example that I used there. That was a free program oh that God. only required a little bit of a voice sample for me. I read a few sentences. I had a couple different news clips, and that was it. They generated that in minutes. So imagine how good it could have been if these are scammers. Who are using real so that read that back that we heard from you, you did not do that. I that was that, that AI. Yeah. And you just Googled that and it's that easy? It's that easy. There are so many Gosh. options and I just chose one of them. There's the lots many. of options? Tons. Unbelievable. That is just great. Uh, all for free too. That's even A lot crazier. of them are and then and you can upgrade. Can you can pay yeah. for better quality ones that have like a little more of the emotion or inflection. 
and you know, you I mean, can what, see what is how that what for? I mean, is there a legitimate purpose for those things? There are all kinds of potential potential purposes, yeah. right? I mean, it could be really great for uh, people who are on social media who are making videos all the okay. time. They input some text in, okay. off to the races, ah. right? They want that ease of use. Yeah. So there are potentially really cool applications, but you know, anytime there's something positive, it of also course. comes with a negative. Yeah, Gosh. it's when it gets into the wrong hands, you yeah. know, is when it's dangerous. 